Another big milestone for Donald Trump tonight. Donald Trump has crossed the 2,000 lie mark. The Washington Post reports Donald Trump has made 2,001 false or misleading claims in 355 days, an average of more than 5.6 claims a day. That includes Donald Trump's lies through Tuesday. But the president has continued lying throughout the week. Here's the president on Wednesday claiming news anchors sent him letters of congratulations for holding a meeting with bipartisan, a bipartisan group of members of Congress. It was a tremendous meeting. Actually, it was reported as incredibly good. And my performance, if, you know, some of them called it a performance. I consider it work. But got great reviews by everybody other than two networks who were phenomenal for about two hours. <laughs> then after that, they were called by their bosses to say, oh, wait a minute. And unfortunately, a lot of those anchors sent us letters saying that was one of the greatest meetings they've ever witnessed. They probably wish they didn't send us those letters of congratulations, but it was good. These lies fly by so that we don't always give them their due, but that deserves some consideration. Consider the workings of that very, very sick brain that you just saw there for a moment. He desperately wants praise for what he calls his performance on TV, and so he gives it to himself, and then he realizes it would be better if the praise came from others, and so he decides that not only did cable news anchors praise his performance, but then some of them were so excited by his performance that they sat down and wrote him letters. Not emails, letters. They wrote him letters that they somehow sent him those paper letters, presumably very quickly by Federal Express, so that he had them the next day, and he read them. And what he now finds so interesting about those letters is that those same news anchors who went on TV and criticized his performance, and then he says uh, th th those same news anchors wrote him those letters praising him. And then he says they probably wish they didn't send us those letters of congratulations. And of course, the reason they would wish that is that they they wish they didn't send those letters is that the president can now produce those letters. Show us those letters. Show us the news anchors who were lying when they criticized his speech. The president has those letters from those lying news anchors. That's what he said. He has letters that prove that they really loved his performance. This is not a simple offhand lie of a word or a phrase or a sentence. This is a fully realized dreamscape of dementia. It is a deeply sick, deeply pathological lie that he needs to tell, an elaborate lie that he needs to tell in order to claim that he got good reviews for what he calls his performance. That is what he lives for. And so that lie will surely be counted in the Washington Post's next complete list of Trump lies. A lie that even the paid liars in the White House find too preposterous for even them to attempt to defend.